Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dana and today I thought I would just start a little vlog video maybe. It is Tuesday, I have a market, I have two back-to-back -back markets, not this weekend but next weekend, so I have a lot to do to prep for those. And so I thought I would take you along for a little studio kind of vlog, crochet with me week, week in my life, something like that. I usually would have started this on a Monday, but I was out of town for some family stuff. And so now that I'm back, I'm full force working. Oops, that's my tea, hold on. I worked actually a lot yesterday. I did some stuff. I obviously didn't record it, but I'll show you guys kind of what I made yesterday. It wasn't a very heavy crochet day. I did a, just a lot of like getting the house reorganized, all that stuff. So that's kind of what I did yesterday. Today I'm going to really crack down and get some crochet stuff done. I have to run to Joanne and pick up an order for myself that I made yesterday. So I'll pick that up later today. And yeah, I just have a lot of stuff I need to get done and get market prepped. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys what I'll be up to today. I did actually make some tea because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Like I can kind of tell I'm getting sick, but I'm not quite sick. And so I'm just trying to, to fight it off while I can. So I made a little bit of tea and I'm just getting ready and set up for the day. I was already working this morning. It's like 1130 now, but I did get quite a bit of work done. I think I, oh, I actually think you're okay there. So I have gotten quite a bit done already today, but I thought I would just show you really quick something I did buy off of Amazon that I really like that you guys might also enjoy. So if you have a lot going on craft shows wise, or you like to write things down while you're market prepping, you like to see a list, all that stuff, I bought this calendar off of Amazon for $4. And it just literally is a great way for me to see everything all at once. I have like a planner that goes week by week, but the page that has the whole month on it, the boxes are so small, I can't write enough in there. So I needed more room. So I bought this and it's nice because I can kind of just see everything I need in one place when I wanna post certain videos, what I need to get done this week to stay ahead or at least up to date. I really liked this. I'll link it for you if you're interested. I just thought it was helpful and it's $4. So if you are someone who likes to write things down, I would highly recommend that. But anyways, this morning, what I've been working on is just making some purses for my market coming up. I wanna have some like bags and stuff like that there. I made this granny square little, these are almost like, I guess concert size bags because they're just enough to fit like your phone and I need to block it and stuff still, but it's big enough to fit your phone and a couple little odds and ends, wallet, whatever. I obviously need to put the, the strap on there, but this is a pretty decent one. I'm gonna do all these first, then line them all secondly, but I have that done. And then I have two of these little, just like phone bags. So I did make two of these already which are pretty cute. They're like all different colors and obviously the straps aren't done on these either. That'll be the death of me putting all these straps on, but I'm gonna try to get a lot more of these done today. Yesterday I made some succulents. I just need to finish wrapping the ends up of those and hot gluing them to their terracotta pots. And then I also, my project bags are just essentially all like different little totes. I get a lot of them just out like Trader Joe's and I, I love those because they're so cute but then they also double as like these bags. If you watched my last market video you saw my yip yip but I made seriously like I think I have 11, 11 yip yips in here or something like so many colors so many yip yips and then I have all my uh, lavender bookmarks I made too so I made those as well. I made eight of those until I just ran out of yarn. Yeah, so I need to finish weaving in the ends on those lavender bookmarks too and then price everything, but I think I'll price everything on like one full day. I'll just do pricing. And then I have a market that's at a winery, only one this month. I have a lot of winery markets coming up, which I'm kind of excited for. I feel like those are gonna be very fun. But I have one this month coming up. And so I made some wine charms that go on like the bottom of your glass. I made a couple of those. 
a couple sets of them. I really had fun making them. It's a nice like break for my wrists and stuff like that just to have, you know, a little bit something different too. So I'll show you guys those two that I made yesterday. And I think that's about all I made yesterday. Yeah, I made eight sets of the charms. The succulents I made on the airplane. So that was good. That was just a way to you know, get, get something done on the airplane. Oh, and then I have some flower claw clips I thought about that I wanna make too. I think what I will work on now, maybe I'll work on getting a couple more of those phone bags done and then I'll check back in with you guys. I'll show you more about those flower claw clips because I think you guys might enjoy those and wanna take those to your show. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Here are the wine charms I was talking to you about. These are kind of the simpler ones, just little cute mushrooms. Anyway, I made three sets of these cute little mushroom wine charms. And then we come over to the worded ones. So I, these say all kinds of things, but I did write out clink for you so you could see that one. And then cheers is over here. It doesn't really do its justice being presented like this, but they, they did come out super cute. I don't know how else I could like, put these out so you could easily read them but, and for these ones they all say mine in a different color so this is obviously a pink one and then I have all sorts of colors here darker pink white yellow and blue so those ones came out really cute I really like those over here we have another set of worded ones and these are just all different color letters and this one says tipsy sober I honestly cannot remember the other one. Wasted is one. Um, I don't know, I can't remember the other ones, but this is another set I made. These are my favorite, and these are just like little rock ones with some beads on them, but I feel like these are just so beautiful. Like I think, I think these are the ones I would buy if I was at a craft show at a winery or something. So yep, I made one set of those, and then we have this set here. So just all kinds of different different ideas there. But anyway, I just thought this would be a nice extra little something to add to have at the winery. Hi guys, new day, same outfit. It's okay. I'm sitting in front of Joanne's right now. I'm going to go pick up my pickup order. And then also I'm going to shop around and see if I can't find a couple more things I was looking for. It's super dead in the parking lot. Like there's literally no one here. So I'm actually hoping that they're open today because it's super rainy outside and stuff. So maybe that's just causing the low traffic. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to pop in there real quick and then I will check back in with you to show you what I bought and then what I got on my pickup order as well. I'm home from Joanne's now, so I thought I would show you guys really quickly what I got from there. So first and foremost, I had a pickup order. So all I needed was this cream color in the Bernat Maker. I love this yarn. I'm gonna show you guys soon what I'm using it for, but I needed it in cream, so I got that. And then I just needed a reload on, yeah, Frosty Green Red Heart Super Saver. This is the color I used for my succulents, and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's the perfect green. So I needed one more of those, so I got that. And then, if you play Joann's right and you use their 20% for their pickup, they will give you a five off 10 or some kind of like $5 off coupon most of the time when you do a pickup order. So I usually leave one thing out on purpose that I need so I can go get it in the store with my $5 off 10. So that's just a hack for you if you don't already know that. It's also only good for one day. It's only good for the day you pick up. So that's probably where they get a lot of people, but I figured it out finally. So. I have been using that to my full advantage. So I needed another piece of greenery for my booth. So I got another one of these. It was originally $19.99. It was on sale for 10 and then I had the $5 off. So this was $5, which is amazing. I already have one I got also on some kind of like sale plus i think i got that one for seven so this one was even less so i got this for five i'm gonna put them together and i feel like that's gonna look really good and then i got these these wooden dowels i can't remember oh yeah these are 12 inch long so i want to do a little bit of crochet tapestry for my markets 
and I'm thinking about doing some pieces for that. So I did get one pack of these craziest thing I needed nine so this pack comes with you can see clearly here pack of eight count this one two three four five six seven eight nine I counted the other packs the of all the other packs had eight this one pack had nine I don't even know how that worked out but I needed nine this was a pack of nine so I didn't have to buy two packs of eight and then have way too many so to say that I am excited about that is an understatement. So that was such a win for me. So for those two items I bought separately, my first order was like $13. This order was like literally $7. I got the wooden dowels for $1.30 and then my greenery was five bucks. So super happy about that. Now I'm going to get to work. I got, I didn't film a lot yesterday. I worked and then my husband came home, we went to the gym, I made dinner, then I worked again at night, but it was like, I don't know, I was just in the mood to work and try to figure out those straps for those bags. So I didn't record anything else, but I did finish the straps. I just did a Romanian cord. I'll go grab them and show you. Put them all in my finished project bag here. So I did four of the phone sized bags and then two of the concert size bags. That's just what I'm gonna call them. Also, don't think I like did all these granny squares and put this all together in one day. I had a giant project that I took apart. So I've had a bunch of granny squares laying around and I'm like, I just better put used to these. So I got four phone bags out of them. The other granny squares I had, I just felt were ugly. So <laughs> I got four phone bags and then these two were also just projects I had already made up and I just needed to finish. So. I did two like concert size bags. This one's not picking up as brown as it is in real life, but I really like this one. And then this one's just, yeah, cute starburst pattern. I'm gonna make a couple more of those, but I just did, like these are all the straps I need to attach and then I'm going to line them. So I'll probably do that today. My shoulder's kind of hurting and I don't know if it's from my workout or if it's from the way I was crocheting yesterday because I know it wasn't very, it wasn't very good. So, but anyway, I, I did get all these done, which is a huge score. Maybe you already know what Romanian cord looks like, maybe not, but anyway, it's actually a really beautiful stitch. And I honestly just feel like, well, I don't feel like it is so quick to work up. These straps are 41 inches long and they take me about 20, 25 minutes maybe. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I wanna sew all the liners in, but in my brain, I first thought I would sew the liners in first and then attach the strap, but I think I should actually attach the strap first, then sew the liner on because I'm gonna be sewing the liner super close to the top of the bag. And then you know how sometimes when you sew something, it gets really funky to crochet around it. So I think what I'll do is I will just sew the straps on first and then I will sew in all the liners and I'll pick all the liner colors and all that fun stuff. So that's the plan for today. I think that's the only plan for today. I think I wanna maybe try to work up a couple more bags, but I really wanna do these first and see how they turn out and then kind of go from there and, and then I can gauge the price and how long they took me and all that stuff. Let's get to it, cause we are stalling and it is 11.50 now. Morning guys, it is Thursday today. Last night I made another granny square bag. So that's three of this size now, which is good. So today I wanna make one more of those. I just need to put the strap on there and then sew the liner into that one, do one more hopefully. The sun is out today, which is amazing. We haven't seen the sun since Thursday last week. So like seriously a full week now, which has been terrible but it's nice that the sun is out today so that that helps for sure feeling a little bit better but i did also in the mail get these they're supposed to be backpacks but i was thinking of making them like mystery bags almost for my next show so i waited till now because i thought we could 
put one together and then see how big they are, see what kind of a plushie is gonna, oh, that actually seems pretty big. See what kind of a plushie's gonna fit in there. And I, I just thought this would be a really fun idea, especially for the high school I'll be at next Saturday. Let's put one of these together and see what they, see what they look like and what we think of them. And then I have like little miscellaneous plushies to pop in them. I figured that when I make stuff for my Will It Market videos, which if you haven't seen, I'll link the second one I just did up here for you to click on. It, they're super fun. I break down prices of plushies and how long they take to make and all that good stuff. So I was thinking of taking some of the plushies I make from there so I don't have like one or two off plushies at my shows and popping them into these and just having them as like mystery box items i thought that would be super fun so let's build one of these and then yeah we'll probably just get right into granny square bags today so all right let's see let's see how it goes I'm super excited. I just built one of each color, the pink and the blue. They are so freaking cute. Best part is I did test it and I was able to fit, oh look, a little baby chick in that one. And then there is the whale in this one. So it did fit, I'm so excited about that. So I think I have, doesn't say. I don't know, this is a lot though. Two, three, four, five, six, twelve. 12. I have 12 of these. I probably won't make all 12. Maybe I'll make, maybe I'll make like four of each or something. I have three chicks to put in. So that's already three. I have the whale, that's four. So I need to come up with four more things to put into the mystery boxes. I'm just gonna make this my like mystery box bin now. But that is so exciting. I'm really glad that worked out and I really hope that it goes over well at this show. I'm thinking about making like a main card that has a picture of all the possibilities of what you could receive in your mystery box because I don't want people to like go into it totally blind and then be maybe disappointed or something. So yay for that. That's all those. I also really want to write a big question mark and put mystery box on here and stuff but this is like that type of like really slippery paper like it has I don't know. I feel like nothing's going to stick to this, but maybe I'll use this one as my tester and try to at least like stamp my logo on it and see if that will stay. Because if that stays, then that means I can write stuff on there. So let's see what happens. Okay. I'm really excited about these though. I, I just thought this would be a fun idea. I like getting little mystery boxes sometimes. And so I thought it'd be fun, especially for kids to get. Okay, so I stand my logo here on this one. We'll see if it stays or if it fades off. I'm really hoping it stays because I would love to write on these so I don't just have to have like a big sign and they can say like mystery box here and stuff. So I'll report back on these. I'll also link them below. Again, another thing I found on Timu. Sorry, sorry to say, but they feel like they're really good quality too. They were $5 for 12. So that was a win. And then I think I'm just gonna mark the mystery boxes as like $10 each, and I think that's a good price. And then you get the cute little backpack with it too. So they're like a little backpack buddy. Okay, it's time to work on this. I have this strap here that I made up this morning, and I just need to confirm that it is long enough. Oh, I guesstimated correctly. It's exactly 41 inches. So that's perfect. So I just need to sew that onto here and then I really want to do two Starburst ones and I only have one Granny Square one. So I think this next one I'm going to make is a Granny Square one. So just in case I don't make any more, I have two of each and I think that's good. I've never sold these before so I really don't know how they're going to go. It's totally a uh, shot in the dark with these. I can't imagine that they won't go well but then again I, I guess you really just, you just never know. Honestly you don't. Let's attach this and then we'll pick out the colors for the next Granny Square bag we're gonna do. I think we're gonna go super, super springy, bright pastel colors like that. I think that's where I wanna take this next one. All right, let's let's uh, let's get to work. Also, I'm sitting on my chair today at my actual desk instead of sitting on the couch because my back is hurting and I'm 
pretty positive it's from not sitting in a real chair. So today we, we're switching it up and we are going to, to sit in a real chair. <laughs> Okay, that took no time at all. As you can see, pardon the fact that there's no aesthetic value to this, but these are the colors I already have picked out for that other bag, and I just need maybe one or two more. In my little yarn section, I think all I need is this pink. I'm gonna use this color, and probably that's it, actually. I don't know, maybe this green. I don't know how many colors I want in this bag. I'm sure we can think up something cute with all these colors. I'm also gonna time myself to see how long this is gonna take me because I do need to price these bags out yet and I'm not positive how much they need to be. So I'm gonna time myself for this. I got my phone ready. It is so weird to be working at my desk today, to be honest. I'm not used to sitting here, so I keep having to like get up to go get all my other stuff, but yeah, it, it definitely feels better on the back. So, all right, let's get started. That is time and we got 25 minutes and 27 seconds it honestly felt like this took me forever I'm not gonna lie I guess I guess that wasn't too bad but this is kind of what I went with I knew I wanted the outer ends to be purple and yeah so this is what we got I don't know if this happens to anybody else but every time I make a granny square and I just let the colors flow and go with the flow I I usually hate it when I'm done with it and then after I look at it for a while and I feel it out I usually like it afterward but at first I always hate it so it's okay like I said I'm, I'm sure I'll come around to it but I think it's exactly what I was going for and it gives you know it, it's it's definitely something different which is exactly what I wanted so that is very good now all i have to do is yeah put the final border on this one and then make the other one so that means it probably takes me about an hour to make the squares and then the lining and the strap probably take me at least another half an hour or so i might well it's noon so i'll probably make the other side first and then i'll stop for lunch for a minute yes but other than that it's feeling pretty productive this morning i'm still thinking about what to put in those mystery boxes so if you guys have any ideas definitely leave them in the comments for me i would love to hear what you're thinking i should put in those i have a couple like baby mini sea turtles i could do and maybe like a bee or so would be really cute oh let's also before i sign off and make this other granny square Let's see if the ink stayed on that other, this other backpack we made, this one. Ooh, it's not looking good. I think it just hit my hook and came off. I think it's gonna come off. Yeah. Dang it, y'all. Dang, I did mean to order some stickers in time for this show, but I think I just am not gonna make it, like, you know, custom Blondie Knot stickers. All right. Back to the drawing board on this. I'm just gonna wipe this off so it'll, it'll be fine after I wipe it off, but dang it, I really wanted that to work. I have a Cricut Joy that I was thinking I could use and try to make some stickers off there. Maybe we'll get into that at some point, but ugh, I don't know what to do. All right, I will update you soon. All right, all finished with the bag just need to weave in my ends obviously and line it but it is all done i actually realized i made this one round too big so note to self i knew it was starting to look a little bit big but i was like ah, i'm sure it's fine but yeah it's one row too big it's totally fine it's not a big deal but it is cute too so it's lunchtime, and then we'll finish it all up all right good news guys besides the liner itself this bag is all done ends are woven in which is very exciting i might try to honestly just make one more of these and then i need to be done with them because five will probably be plenty but i really want to make one with like a blue handle and a blue like purse border so i might try to make one more tonight 
we will see how it goes. But yeah, other than that, that is done, which feels really good to have that all done. This is the current state of all the yarn I just used. This one I was using for something else just looks awful. So I need to do something I hate doing, which is caking up yarn. So I'm gonna get my yarn winder out and just, you know, make these into pretty cakes so they can go back on the shelves nicely. But that's gonna be our next task. And then we will go from there. morning guys happy friday we've made it to the end of the week so i think last time i left you i was just winding up those yarn cakes and getting organized there so after that and after dinner and everything last night i did make one more bag so i am officially done making these bags for now today we're gonna line these finally line the bags i know i feel like i just keep saying the same things but we're actually gonna line them today then we'll go over everything we made this week hopefully we'll get a couple of those flower clips done i ordered some question mark stickers from amazon to put on the mystery boxes i will keep you updated on those what i end up putting in them and then i'll definitely let you know at my market next week how they do that's a little update for now but anyways happy friday and let's get into today i also need to put all these away from last night, making them. I hate winding these, but it's so nice when they're done and I can just put them all back where they belong and it takes up so much less room. Okay, so these are the three bags we're going to be lining today. So I have like my little fabric stash over here with all my options. So I'm just gonna go through this, pick out what I think would match these bags, and then we'll head over to the sewing machine, which is arguably my least favorite part. I really actually don't enjoy sewing at all. I feel like there's always something that happens, but that's all right. We're just gonna get it over and done with, and then we are through with the bags, and we can finally put these aside to get priced out and everything. So let's just go through all these and pick out our liners. Okay, so we're at my desk now. I had to put on a little sweater because it's getting chilly. I will show you really quick what we picked out. So for this one originally, I wanted to do like a black, but I didn't have enough black. We went with orange, so this will be the liner for the black bag. For this purple one, we're gonna do this light yellow daisy pattern. And then for the blue, I have this sagey floral print color, which I think is beautiful. So, all right, time to sew those all up and then we are officially finally done with the bag. All three are sewn in. I still have to cut all the strings off and stuff, but looking real nice. Of course, we've got our tag in. And so, yeah, they're all lined and I like the way that they came out. Put them in our finished project bag for the week and then we'll move on to our flower claw clips and then we'll wrap the video up for the week. Pretty excited about finally getting these done. It took a little bit longer than expected, but I also think I didn't expect to make, I think I ended up with five, five or six. So it's a pretty good amount of bags for the week, I would say. Um, oh, especially since we started Tuesday. I forgot that we started Tuesday this week and not on Monday. So, all right, I'm pretty happy with this. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these freaking hair clips I just made. All I did was just make a couple of flowers then I wrapped the top of the claw clip in this like fuzzy yarn and then I just hot glued these to the clip and does that not look so cute? I also made one in like neutral tones with like white up here. <gasps> I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed with these. I, I have to do the other sides yet. Oh, here you can see what like the, the clip looks like before I put it on. 
but oh my gosh, I'm freaking obsessed with these claw clips. I think they're gonna be so cute. I just wanted to do a test run, so I just did the one side just to see because I was too anxious and couldn't wait. But I have four of these, so I'm gonna do two neutral and then two of these, like the colorful ones, if you will. I cannot wait to put this in my hair. I'm letting them dry, so I'm gonna be patient and give them a minute. But I think these are so adorable. I would totally wear one and probably will take one and wear it. I like live in claw clips a lot of the time. So so anyway, this is the last part of the vlog for the week. I just really wanted to show you guys these and show you how cute they turned out and I just absolutely love them. So listen, I am not positive I waited long enough for the glue to dry on the clips, but I'm so anxious to try one on. So I'm gonna put one in my hair and see what we think about it. Okay, good news. The flowers did not at all obstruct the actual function of the clip which I was a little bit worried about, but it didn't do it. I think I love it. I honestly think I'm gonna have to just keep one for myself. I don't know, maybe we try the natural tone one really quick and just kind of see how that one looks too because I'm just so obsessed with these now. Like, I think I'm gonna wear one today, actually. Let me get the natural colored one. What do we think of this one? Is this a side of thumb? Yes. Thoughts? Thoughts? Okay, I take it back because I think I might actually like this one more. I don't know. I, I'm definitely like a... I'm definitely a neutral tones girly, so I think that's probably why I like this one. But yeah, even if you just make it for yourself, make one for yourself because they are too freaking cute. The other colorful one I'm going to do in more brighter versions of those colors so that will be kind of fun but then i think the other neutral one i'm going to keep just like this so let me know what you think of these i would love to hear so let's recap everything that we made this week so we'll have four of these by the end of the day but really only counts as like two halves of a project but those are so easy to make i would highly recommend making a couple of those all this new stuff i made this week i will report back after my show and let you know how everything went because I'm sure some of you would like to know. Now we didn't make these on the vlog, but we can show them really quick. All the yip yips, but we won't count these. Obviously got a little obsessed making them. Hold on, we have two more. Yeah, so this was nine nine of these so we have all nine of these yip yips but like i said i didn't do it on the video so i'm not going to count them we made also not on the video but one two three four five succulent plants just not finished or potted in here are all the wine charms i showed you earlier all the finished ones made so we have eight sets of wine charms made this week and all of these bags are lined by the way so we have one two three four five five of these i'm just going to call them concert bags because i just think they're the perfect size for that so we made five concert bags and then lastly we made one two three four little granny square bags. And these are just like little phone bags, like I said before. I decided not to line these actually because I did line this one, I think. I lined this one and don't get me wrong, it looked super cute, but you can like barely fit your hand in there once it's lined because it just doesn't have the same stretch. So they are unlined, but that does make them easier to make. So I'll probably whip up just a few more of these because they're kind of fun and they'll be a cheaper option to the larger bag size if someone's interested in those. That is everything we made this week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I know it was like here and there, kind of all over the place, but it's just what I could throw together this week. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Later this month, I will have another Will It Market video coming out. I'm getting some patterns together and ready for that. So I'm really excited to bring that to you guys. I know everyone loves those videos. But yeah, I just wanted to show you a little week in my life, kind of how it goes around here. This, again, was a little bit slower week. I wasn't feeling the best. And coming back from vacation is always kind of like 
weird. So anyways, just getting back in the swing of things. If you made it this far in the video, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate it. Thank you for letting me take up a little bit of your time on the internet today. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, guys. It helps me out a bunch when you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Drop me a comment below. I love chatting with you guys in the comment section. And I will be seeing you next week in a new video. All right, bye.